In this video, I'm going to talk about presenter view and I'll also show you how you can use presenter view and what is the benefit of using presenter view. So let's get started. All right, first you should understand what exactly is presenter view. Let's say you have another screen which is connected to a computer and you are sharing that screen with your audience. Now you want to refer the notes for yourself so that it will be easy for you to give presentation to the audience then you can use presenter view. Another important feature of presenter view is that you can keep track of your timings so that you are always on track. You have two additional features in presenter view. First one is audience tool using which your audience can ask a question to you and you can reply to their question. So this is an interactivity tool which you can enable from your end. And another thing is that you can always refer notes while giving presentation using presenter view. So let me show you how to refer presenter view and how to access it. Towards the top right, just beside this present button, you have this drop down. Click on that. You have presenter view at the top. Click on this and you see that a window will open towards the left side. At start, you have this timer which will keep on running. If you want to pause the timer, you can click on this pause button like this. If you want to resume it, click on this resume button. And if you want to reset it, click on reset. Similarly, at the bottom, you see you have preview of slides. At current moment, I am into solar system slide. That is the reason it is showing me this particular slide. And at bottom, I have next slide. You see it is showing the preview of the next slide so that mentally you can be prepared for the next slide. If I click on the next slide, it will give me the previous slide. You see towards the left, I have previous slide and this is my current slide and this is the next slide. So it is very easy for you to mentally prepare what is coming next and what you have already given. Again, towards the right side, you have audience tools and then you have speaker notes. In audience tool, it is a way that you can interact with your audience by way of question answers. For example, if I click on this start new and you see at start, you have two options. First, either you are accepting questions if on, that means audience can ask question to you and you can reply back. If you click on off, that means you are not able to answer to your audience. So it is better to keep it on and this will give you this link. Just copy this link or you can copy this link in incognito mode so that I can just show you properly and your audience can ask a question. For example, let's say, how are you? So this is just for your reference. Click submit. And now if I come here as a speaker or as a presenter, you see this is the question which has been asked by my student or my colleague or anyone who is referring my presentation. I can either like it or dislike it and I can even present it. All right. And Another point is we have a very good feature of speaker notes. So you see currently I'm in slide number two and this is the note which I have kept in my speaker notes so that if I want, I can refer it while giving presentation. If I move forward by clicking next button, again, you see we have this particular notes in my speaker notes. I'll just show you where the notes are kept. First, let me just close this and just press escape to come out of the presenter view. And you see, if I just go to slide number one, this is the area where I've kept the notes. So here you can keep the notes, whatever you want to refer it during your presentation. In case of slide number two, this is the note. Similarly, in slide number three, this is the note. So based on your project or based on your presentation, you can prepare the notes and you can keep it in presenter view. So if you go in presenter view, the notes will be only visible to you because you are not sharing this screen to your audience. Rather, you are sharing another screen with your audience. Now, if you don't know how to connect another screen with your computer, I have already prepared one video and you can just go to that video and see how you can connect another screen with your current screen so that you can share another screen with your audience, not the current computer. All right. So in the same way, I'll just go to my presenter view. So you see, this is the notes for slide number three, right? So whatever you have written in the slide notes, 
it will appear here and you can always refer back all right so these are the four features in present view the first one is all about timers the second one is preview of the current slide next slide and previous slide then we have audience tools wherein you can increase the interactivity between you and your audience through question answers and the last is very good feature which is called as notes feature for example keeping all the notes in the speaker notes so that you can refer it in case you are stuck at a particular moment all right so i hope you would have got the idea so that's it if you like the video please hit on the like button and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing our channel because we come up with lot of videos on google slides we also have a complete playlist about google slides you can always refer back to our channel take care bye